a very good morning to all the students of class 8 my name is prerna and i'm your english teacher and today from your english book skyline we are going to be reading chapter number 11 and this chapter is about a man called alfred nobel so let us start reading the chapter and know his story so as i told you this is chapter number 11 and the name of the chapter is the dynamite merchant the introduction says the story is about alfred nobel who invented and made powerful ex explosives this helped increase the destructive capability of human beings yet nobel left much of his fortune for the nobel prizes one of which is aimed at promoting world peace these two facts about nobel are contradictory let us read the story to know about them alfred bernard nobel was born in stockholm sweden on 21st october 1833 his father emmanuel nobel was a self educated inventor alfred was the third of four sons Failing in business in Stockholm, Emanuel Nobel took his family to Saint Petersburg, Russia, in 1842. There he manufactured rifles and land and water mines. Alfred was a sickly child and was educated at home by tutors. By the time he was 17 years old, he could speak five languages. He spent a year studying chemistry in Paris. Then he was in the United States for four years, working under John Erickson, a naval engineer and shipbuilder. At twenty-one, Alfred returned to Saint Petersburg. His father had begun some experiments with nitroglycerin, but abandoned them. Alfred resumed these experiments and invented a blasting cap made of fulminate of mercury and explosive salt to fire a charge of nitroglycerin. This cap was a significant historical development. So the experiment which Alfred's father had given up, Alfred still continued doing those experiments. He still wanted to see that what would be the result of these experiments. Although still sickly, Noble took charge of the family business and soon diversified to bridge building and construction, which eventually motivated him to research new methods of blasting rock. In 1863, he returned to Sweden and set up a small factory to make nitroglycerin. A year later, a terrific explosion destroyed the factory and killed five people, including his younger brother. youngest brother emil forbidden that is stopped and or not allowed forbidden by the swedish government to rebuild the factory and determined to make the explosives safer to handle noble moved the factory to a barge moored in a lake it's a kind of a ship in 1866 after disastrous explosions at world ports many nations forbid their vessels to carry nitroglycerin but noble was determined to find a solution so no uh, alfred noble he could see that nitroglycerin you know when it uh, explodes it causes a lot of destruction so he wanted to find a safe way out He was eventually successful when he mixed nitroglycerin with a special sand to make a sort of a clay which he patented as dynamite. This invention made Nobel wealthy. He spent the next 10 years setting up plants in United States and Europe. In 1876 he patented blasting gelatin a combination of gun cotton and nitroglycerin. So uh, to get something patent means that only your name or that that uh, you know probably the credit of that particular invention will be purely under your name and you can look for the exact meaning also it says got the official right to be the only person to make or sell an invention all right so 
then his story goes further this invention made noble wealthy he spent the next 10 years setting up plants in united states and europe in 1876 he patented blasting gelatin a combination of gun cotton and nitroglycerin so another uh, uh, you can say a type of uh, uh, you know a blast uh, an uh, and uh, a thing that could be used to explode he got an another one patent under his name or registered under his name in 1878 he and his brothers developed oil fields in russia in 1888 he invented ballastite one of the first smokeless powder explosive noble never married he found recreation in his laboratory and in writing poetry in imitation of his idol that was percy bar shelley that is he is also known as pb shelley he is a very famous english poet in later years he traveled throughout europe and had homes in paris stockholm and san romo italy which earned him the title of the richest vagabond In 1876, he met Bertha Kinski, a Bohemian noble woman. She was one of the world's leading pacifist. Pacifist, or, or a, uh, is a person who believes that war is the most uh, incorrect thing that one can get. Her, himself or herself involved into a pacifier or a pacifist is someone who wants that everything should settle down peacefully in letters to noble over several years she enlarged of his on his ideas for world peace noble's bequest for a peace prize was largely in tribute to her though he was somewhat doubtful of the effectiveness of the pacifist movement He died on December ten, eighteen ninety six, in San Remo, leaving the executors of his will to work out the details of administering the Nobel prizes. So this is story about Alfred Nobel, who is also known as the dynamite merchant. One thing that I want to tell you after reading the story. you know whatever knowledge that you get use it in a constructive manner use it in a way that can be used for the welfare of the society rather than thinking something destructive something that can put you into trouble or maybe others also in trouble so have a constructive thought process thank you so much